The Master of Your Driving in Japan, Lesson 1, Basic Driving Information Manners and Responsibilities Associated with Driving Being able to drive a car broadens your range of movement and can make your daily life richer by allowing you to go wherever you want, whenever you want to. However, there is always an element of danger associated with driving. A moment of loss of concentration can result in an error with tragic consequences that are irreversible. As someone who will shortly be joining the community of drivers, it is essential that you learn to obey all applicable rules and regulations. Furthermore, you must show consideration for other drivers and endeavor to make your driving abilities as safe as possible for yourself and for others. Number 1. Give and take and consideration for others. When you are driving, you will occasionally see pedestrians who wish to cross the street but are unable to, or other drivers who wish to enter the flow of traffic from a side street but cannot. At times like this, it is important to consider more than just the rules and regulations of the road. You must also make an effort to see things from the other person's point of view and apply the principle of give and take. The principles of give and take and consideration for others are important when driving. They make the driving experience more pleasant for everyone. Number 2 Taking care not to inconvenience others. When driving a car, you must not think only of your own convenience. It is important also to consider other drivers, pedestrians, and those living alongside the road on which you are driving. You must avoid making excess noise or parking in places that will an inconvenience others. Furthermore, actions like drawing rubbish such as empty drink cans or cigarette woods, or placing others and unwanted items onto the roads are not only inconsiderate of others, but can also cause accidents. Number 3. Ensuring the safety of passengers. It is the responsibility of the driver to make sure the area behind the vehicle is safe before a passenger opens the door or alights from the vehicle. It is also important for the driver to lock the doors in order to ensure that passengers cannot open them accidentally. Point. Child locks doors. When the child lock lever on a rear door is in the locked position, it is not possible to open the door from the inside. Using the child lock feature is an effective way to prevent accidents caused by children playing with the door handle. Using child seats. Child seats are effective in reducing injury on the occurrence of an accident and in preventing children from interfering with your control of the vehicle while it is in motion. A child seat should be used for any child who is too small to wear a seat belt. In particular, use of a child seat of the approximate size is required for preschool children. Note that this does not apply in situation where the child cannot use a child seat due to a reason such as illness. Point. Precautions when using child seats. As shown in the photo, allowing a child to ride in a car without a child seat can be very dangerous on the occurrence of a collision or if the driver is forced to brake suddenly. Be sure to keep the following precautions in mind when using a child seat. Number 1. Install the child seat on a rear seat. This is particularly important if the car is equipped with an airbag for the front passenger. If installing the child seat on the front passenger seat of an airbag equipped car is unavoidable, move the seat back as far as it will go and fit the child seat facing forward. Number 2. 
secure the child seat and place using the seat belt or similar. Number 3. Use a child seat that matches the child's size and make sure the child is positioned correctly when seated in it. Number 5. Traffic violations, accident, and responsibility. When driving, you must always have a strong sense of responsibility to not violate traffic regulations and not cause accidents. In the event you do violate traffic regulations or cause an accident, you may be subject to the following obligations, depending on the seriousness of the offense. Number 1. Criminal Obligations Imprisonment or Fine Number 2. Administrative Obligations Suspensions or Revocation of License Number 3. Civil Obligations Monetary Claims for Damages Number 6. Insurance and Other Precautions the driver of a car should make special arrangements in order to prepare should an accident occur, such as purchasing automobile insurance, learning first aid techniques, and keeping a first aid kit in a car. Prohibition on driving when intoxicated. Driving under the influence of alcohol impairs your ability to safety operate a motor vehicle and increases the potential for accidents that may result in serious injury or death to you and others. Number 1. Do not drive even if you have only had a little to drink. Number 2. Do not offer alcohol to any person who may be driving soon. Number 3. Do not lend your car to a person who has had even a little to drink and who may drive later. Number 4. Do not request or insist that a person under the influence of alcohol drive you. And do not ride in a car driven by such a driver. Obeying Traffic Laws Goals of the Road Traffic Law the road traffic law establishes the basic standards for traffic on the roads. It has the following aims. Number 1. To prevent danger on the nation's roads. Number 2. To ensure traffic safety on the nation's road. Number 3. To promote the smooth movement of traffic on the nation's road. Number 4. To prevent problems, traffic pollution arising due to the road traffic. Obeying traffic regulations and safety. The roads are used by large number of people and vehicles. If even one of the many pedestrians or drivers take the attitude that everything revolves around me and ignore what the others are doing, confusion and accidents can result. A severalist acting in such a manner is inconsiderate to others even if you are not aware of it yourself. Traffic regulations are common rules that people who use the roads must obey in order to ensure safety and permit the smooth flow of traffic. Driver, drivers have a social responsibility and obligation to obey traffic regulations and to avoid causing danger or inconvenience to others. Preparation for driving Planning your trip if you fail to plan your trip ahead of time, you run the danger of getting lost and becoming anxious due to the worry of arriving late. This can lead to hazardous behavior such as passing other vehicles recklessly. Before starting out, decide on the road you intend to take. A map can be a useful tool. And be sure to allow sufficient time. It is always a good idea to allow a little extra time just in case. Your physical condition. If you are tired, sick, or worried about something, you may find it difficult to concentrate and make sound judgment. This can lead to accidents 
If your physical condition is not good, either avoid driving or wait until you are feeling better before starting. If you drive when you are tired, sick, and worried, you maybe cannot see, maybe mistake what you see, maybe don't even notice. Make no judgment, make delayed judgment, make mistaken judgment. Fail to control the vehicle. Fail to control sufficiently, quickly. Fail to control correctly. Prohibition on driving when fatigued. You must not drive a vehicle when you are fatigued or under the influence of narcotics, amphetamines, pain thinner, or similar. It is also inadvisable to drive after taking cold, headache, or other medication that causes drowsiness. Appropriate clothes for driving. Four-wheeled vehicles. You should select clothing that will not impair your ability to control the vehicle. Furthermore, you should not wear footwear such as ghetto wooden sandals or high heels. Two-wheeled vehicles. To drive a two-wheeled vehicle, you should wear a correctly adjusted motorcycle helmet and clothing that reduces the exposure of your skin as far as possible and protective equipment. Passengers riding a large size or regular motorcycles must also wear a helmet. Bright colored glutes that are highly visible to other drivers are best. When driving at night, Wear clothing containing a reflective cloth or a helmet with reflective stickers affixed to it. To work vehicle, this term refers to large-sized motorcycles, regular motorcycles, and mopeds. This is how you wear your two-wheel vehicle costumes. Gloves should not impair finger movement. Made of a material such as leather that can withstand abrasions, clothing, minimal skin exposure, easy to move around in, bright, highly visible colors, boots, boots with heels, no ties or laces, made of leather, helmet, GIS mark, PSC mark, the helmet should bear one of the above marks. The helmet should be the correct size to fit your head. Quick hand. Precaution when wearing a helmet. Be sure to secure the chin strap. Do not wear the helmet push back on your head or low over your eyes. Never continue to use a helmet that has been involved in a collision. Even a single strong impact would substantially reduce the function of the helmet. Note, safety helmets of the sort worn by construction workers are not suitable for motorcycles. Seat belts. Seat belts can substantially reduce injuries should you be involved in a traffic accident. Furthermore, they can help you avoid fatigue by keeping your body in a suitable driving posture. When driving in an automobile equipped with seat belts, by law the driver must wear a seat belt and insist the front and rear seats passenger wear a seat belt for safety. This also applies to cars equipped with airbags. Note that the above requirement does not apply to passenger who cannot wear a seat belt due to reason such as an illness. Example of the situation in which the requirements to wear a seatbelt does not apply. Number one, if there are not enough seatbelts for the number of passengers, for rear seat only. Number two, if it is an approximate to wear a seatbelt due to a medical condition such as injury, sickness, or pregnancy. Number three, if it is not possible to wear a seat belt in the approximate manner because your height when seated is too low to see sufficiently or similar. 
Number four, when reversing the vehicle, driver only. The correct way to wear a seat belt. Shoulder straps should not pass across your neck and should not be too slack. Lap belts should drop around your pelvis and be somewhat tight. Sit back in the set and do not recline the set. Be careful not to twist the seat belt when fastening it. Insert the metal tip of the seat belt fastener and push until an audible click is heard. Fall to make sure it is correctly fastened and will not suddenly come loose while driving. If you are not wearing a seat belt, there is a danger of hitting your head against the windshield. Point. Supplementary Restraint System SRS Airbags some people think they do not need to wear a seatbelt because their cars are equipped with airbags. However, airbags may not be effective for passengers who are not wearing a seatbelt and therefore not sitting with a suitable posture. In fact, in such some situations, airbags can actually be dangerous. Therefore, you must always wear a seatbelt when driving an automobile even if it is equipped with airbags. Airbag operation. Airbags are generally designed to deploy when a collision occurs equivalent to hitting a concrete wall at a speed of 30 km per hour or greater at an angle of 30 degrees or less. If the car is struck from the side or collides with something soft, such as a tree or bush, they may not deploy. Airbag precaution. For cars equipped with front passenger airbags, the following precautions also apply. Sit in the normal driving postures with your seatbelt fastened correctly. If a child is traveling in the car, do not allow it to stand on the front passenger seat or to sit on the lap of a passenger. Do not install a child seat in the front passenger seat. Do not place object in the front of the airbags storage locations. Quick hand. Pregnant woman. Pregnant women should wear seat belts approximately while driving to decrease risk of injury when accidents happen. You should consult your doctors for the details. Number five. Your driver's license and other documents. Number one. Carrying your driver's license with you. You must carry the approximate type of driver's license on your person when driving an automobile or moped. Number two, keeping a vehicle inspection certificate in your vehicle. You must keep a valid vehicle inspection certificate in your automobile, except for comfort cars that are not subject to vehicle inspection and light special equipment. Number three, keeping a liability insurance form in your vehicle. You must keep a valid compulsory automobile liability insurance form or mutual relief system insurance certificate in your moped or automobile, except for light special equipment used for agriculture. Quick hand. Conditions for driving. You must wear eyeglasses if it is mentioned on your driver's license. Number six. Emergency equipment. You must keep emergency signaling devices such as flares or red flashlights in your automobile. If you are planning to drive on an expressway, national expressway or motorway, be sure your vehicle is equipped with an emergency warning reflector device, emergency warning reflector board, or emergency warning reflector light. In case you are forced to stop on the roadway on the occurrence of an accident or similar. Number 7. Restrictions on use of mobile phones while driving. Using a mobile phone or car phone while driving or looking at the screen of a car navigation system or car TV can prevent you from paying adequate attention to the traffic condition around you 
and is extremely dangerous. You must not attempt to use a mobile phone or similar or study the screen of a car navigation system, etc. while driving. You should also be sure to power off your mobile phone before starting your journey to ensure that it does not ring while you are driving. Dangerous abusing a mobile phone while driving. Number 1. Taking your eyes off the road to look for the handset, press buttons, etc. Number 2. Possibility of loss of control of the automobile because you need to change your posture to pick up the handset or etc. Number 3. Danger that your attention will be focused on the phone call or not on driving. Correct driving posture. Forward vehicles. Eye height. Your eyes should be at the level such that any blind spots about your car are such small as possible. Adjust the seat height and the angle of the seat back as approximate. Elbows. Angle of seat back. Your elbows should be slightly bent. Knees. Seat position. Your knee should be slightly bent when you fully depress the clutch pedal, brake pedal for a car with an automatic transmission. Note. Your body should not be tilted and you should not drive with your elbow resting on the window ledge. Two-wheeled vehicles. Shoulders relaxed and let your back straighten naturally. Face. Keep your chin down and your eyes facing forward to cover a wide angle of view. Hands. Grasp the center of the grips and maintain a natural wrist angle. Elbows. Relax your arms and turn your elbows slightly inward. Knees. Slightly, slightly press your knees against the fuel tank. Feet. Place the arch of your foot on the step with your toes facing forward. Keep the soles of your feet roughly flat. Hips. Sitting position. Sit in a position that does not restrict the movement of your arms and legs.